Imagine that you are in charge of creating an image editing application, which should have a feature for applying filters. You are planning on having tons of filters, and now looking for a way to design a filtering engine so that you can easily apply filters on images. At the same time, the filters must be completely separate classes, allowing different teams to develop different filters without changing the application's codebase. For this job, the strategy pattern looks perfect. The strategy is a behavioral design pattern that defines a family of interchangeable algorithms and allows them to be selected and used dynamically at runtime. This also enables algorithms to be encapsulated in separate classes. Imagine that we already have an image class. Let's add a new setFilter method, which accepts the filter interface. The filter has an apply method that takes an image. With that being done, we can create specific filters and set each to our image. Now, completely different teams can work on filters. They have nothing to do with the image class. They just have to implement a filter in the system, and the image will work with all of them in the same way. There are three actors here. The first one is context, a class that maintains a reference to the strategy object and delegates the algorithm's execution to it. The second is strategy, which defines a common interface for all specific strategies. It declares a method for an algorithm. The third one, concrete strategy, is a class that implements the strategy interface, providing a concrete algorithm implementation. The strategy design pattern provides several benefits. This pattern enhances adaptability and flexibility by allowing the algorithms to be changed at runtime without modifying the client code. It encapsulates the algorithms in separate strategy classes, promoting a clear separation of tasks and simplifying maintenance. Furthermore, the strategy pattern ensures that the system remains open for extensions but closed for modifications, adhering to the open-closed principle. Despite these advantages, it can introduce additional complexity, particularly when there are numerous strategies and their interactions to manage. Moreover, clients are burdened with the responsibility of selecting and providing an appropriate strategy for the context, potentially leading to an increase in the client code. That's all about the strategy design pattern. See you in the next video.